Okay, now we need to get that side glued, got it turned around. We need to figure out where our top T comes through. Now we got that side glued together. We need to figure out, it's all turned around. We need to figure out where our top T is going to come through here. We need to determine where that's at. So I have to start putting the, the piping in the envelope and see where it comes out so we can uh, get that through there. We'll put this bottom one in first. We'll put our two side ones in. And we can put our top one in. See where we come out and mark it. We know where that's at. Get that all figured out. We can take it apart and set it aside again. Get these out of the way and we'll come back. Now this one we need to do just like the other side. Lean off the top side of the clear. Put our glue on it. And come back and do the bottom side with the other color. So we know where our piping's going. T for the vacuum cleaner, where it's going to come out at. So we can glue up to that area. Get our paper for our glue. It's one side with glue on it. See if we can move it over so we can clean the other side and you glue on the other side, other lower piece. Get our glue out again and start gluing. Getting glue on this, this edge. Keep working your way down. Okay, that's all of that. We'll leave that dry. Cut a piece of latex at one inch wide that I can wrap around here, wrap around the end of the pipe. It gets glued together and when I set the pipe in there I'll have to work my latex around it. So, try and keep you informed on that when, I, when I'm doing it. Okay, I'll put my piece of uh, latex around my pipe here. You want something so you can get a good seal here. That's not glued to the pipe, it's just around the pipe. It's all been cleaned up so when I, uh, when I get ready to put it in, I can glue, glue my latex around it. Start down here again, I need my scissors to trim this a little. Get our pipe, get our glue. Get the 
Clean a little bit on that back side of that one. Some glue on this piece going around here. Okay. Okay, we got to finish the bottom side on this. Got to do a little reinforcing. I need to powder all these joints, which I didn't powder. So let's start by putting this bottom one in. I do that, that'll seal off the bottom here. Get my glue. Back in a minute when it dries up some. Here we'll just take and tuck it, tuck it down and around. Still gonna get another small piece on here. Okay, I'm going to reinforce this upper area because that's going to be a high stress area. Clean it off good. See if we can do both sides at once here. Now that that's all done, I'll take and uh, uh, put the framework together, figure out where my breathing hole has to be for the breathing tube, cut that, reinforce it, and I'll put the
put the piping in it and give it a try. This is one of the last things to do is uh, take and punch your hole for your breathing tube, cut a little circle and punch a hole in it. So this will give it a little reinforcing. Hard parts getting it on straight. Roll it down, clean the glue off of it. Put a little powder on it. That should do it. If you make a vacuum bed like this one, you get into it from this end, you would have to get into it from this end. This end's folded up and sealed, and it has a has a big ball valve here as you can see through it when I turn it, it closes it off so it'll hold a vacuum so this one here you can turn the vacuum cleaner off and hold the vacuum on it uh, don't know how long it'll hold, but uh, it'll hold a vacuum on it so you don't have to have the vacuum cleaner running all the time.